Let's tackle a long-standing debate here on YouTube. Are affiliate links officially permitted here or not in the description text of your videos, or does that violate YouTube's terms of service? That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Thursday, which means it's time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys. A question that I hear a lot here on YouTube is, Tim, are affiliate links actually permitted here on YouTube? Can I do a review of a product or an item and then put my Amazon affiliate link in the description text of my video to point people there so I get a little kickback? Well, that is a great question. There's a lot of debate around this and usually it goes back to YouTube's Terms of Service section 4D, which says this. You agree not to use the service for any of the following commercial uses unless you obtain YouTube's prior written approval. The sale of access to the service, the sale of advertising, sponsorships, or promotions placed on or within the service or content, or the sale of advertising, sponsorships, or promotions on any page of an ad-enabled blog or website containing content delivered via the service unless other material not obtained from YouTube appears on the same page and is of sufficient value to be the basis for such sales. Now before we jump into all this, let me first say that making business related videos that promote your business, your product, your services, or yourself, all that is totally permitted. In fact, the next section of YouTube's Terms of Service, section 4E, says this specifically. Prohibited commercial uses do not include uploading an original video to YouTube or maintaining an original channel on YouTube to promote your business or artistic enterprise. So that is not what we are talking about here. What we are discussing in this video is when you promote someone else's product or someone else's service or someone else's business and they pay you to do so, whether that be through them actually writing you a check and saying, hey, uh, feature us in your upcoming video, or whether that means you are just going to get an affiliate kickback from any of the links that you share, like people click on it, it sets a cookie on their browser, and then they browse on Amazon and whatever they buy from that viewing session, then you get like a percentage of the cut from that purchase. YouTube hasn't been very clear on this affiliate issue either way. In fact, even when preparing for this very video, I reached out to their policy team and the response I got back to them was very generic and not very helpful. But YouTube's help section does kind of allude to a lot of different things across several different pages. And I think if you stitch them all together, you might get an answer. First of all, let's go to YouTube's Policy Center help section, and there it says this. Content that deliberately tries to mislead users for financial gain may be removed, and in some cases, strikes may be issued to the uploader. Obviously, this doesn't say anything about using affiliate links, but it does give us some guidelines for if we are going to use them, what we should abide by. And the first one is it can't be misleading. Personally, whenever I use an Amazon affiliate link or otherwise, I always put in brackets right behind the link or right in front of it, the word affiliate. So people clearly know that if they click this link, it is an affiliate link and I will get some commission for the sale if they choose to buy. And number two, it can't be just purely for your own financial gain. You have to use the link in a way that offers more additional value to the viewer. So for example, if you're reviewing a product or you're creating something or and you use like a tool to create that something and someone's like, hey, I wanna create that, how did you do that? And you offer a link to the tool that you used, you are offering them a value and saying like, here, you can go directly find it and purchase it yourself. But that still doesn't really directly answer the question of whether or not we can use affiliate links here on YouTube. So I actually consulted with a lawyer who specializes in working with online creators. His opinion is that a sale of promotions is too vague as to whether or not an affiliate link is considered a sale. He said YouTube is probably just taking a very low key view on this right now because it doesn't have a major direct impact on their revenue, but they want to reserve the right to do something about it in the event that it might become a problem in the future. But the problem that I see with this is that YouTube multi-channel networks, they make the bulk of their revenue actually from brand integration by promoting other people's products and services and tools. In fact, we've all probably seen a video here on YouTube that was hugely popular that had brand integration built like right into the video. And that was done because money exchanged hands with the creator and the company, whether or not that was an affiliate relationship or a, just a direct like upfront fee that they paid to have their brand featured in the content of that video or whatever. So here's what I think. YouTube's partner policy program terms of service says this. Do not embed third party advertising sponsorships or promotions placed on or within your content. YouTube does allow you to upload paid product placements provided you give us notice first. The first part about third party advertising and promotion is spelled out a little bit further on that page. And basically what they're saying is that you can't burn into your videos permanent pre-roll ads or mid-roll ads into your actual video file. If YouTube has an ad unit that is comparable to the one that you're inserting into your actual video, then that is not allowed. To me, when I look at YouTube's term 
terms of service at that controversial section, that is what that is talking about. Because the second part of their partner program policy does explicitly state that you can have paid product promotion in your videos as long as you notify them about it first. How do you notify them? Well, when you upload your video to YouTube under the monetization tab, you'll see that there's a little box that you can check there that says this video contains paid product placement. Here's the question. Are affiliate links considered paid product placement on YouTube or not? Here's what the help section says. Paid product placements are defined as pieces of content that are created specifically for a sponsor and where that sponsor's brand, message, or product is integrated directly into the content. A typical example of a paid product placement is one in which the marketer pays the partner to specifically mention their product or brand in what would normally be the editorial part of the content. That seems to me to fit under an affiliate relationship when Amazon is paying you to promote one of their products. Now what's not clear to me exactly is does one of their products include like Amazon S3 like is an actual Amazon product or is it a product that's just sold through their service? That part isn't explicitly laid out but it does make sense to me that that would be contained in this definition just like you would go to any retail store and buy products that they didn't exactly specifically make and own themselves and they're part of their branding but as part of like products that they sell and services that they provide. So just check that box to let YouTube know that your video does indeed include paid product promotion and you should be set. But why does YouTube want to know this in the first place? Well it's very important important that you actually check this box because let's say you're an advertiser of company A and they don't necessarily want their products and services showing up as a paid ad around content that maybe promotes one of their competitors. So you should know that if you check that box, YouTube may limit what ads are displayed around your videos and they may actually disable monetization on it completely. So take that into consideration as you do all this. One other final thought is guys, even if your video is totally on the up and up, you have followed every single policy guideline and rule to the T, there are still a lot of people out there who are adamantly believe that you cannot have affiliate links on YouTube. If they see that you are using an affiliate link, they often will flag your video for violating YouTube's community guidelines. And if enough people do that, you still could have a very big headache on your hands. So keep that in mind if you use affiliate links in your videos. Links to all the official sources I use to kind of put all this together are in the description text below this video. So go check them out if you want to read into any of this in more detail. And remember that I am not an authoritative voice on this matter. This is just my own opinion based on the research that I've done. So if you use affiliate links in your videos, do so at your own risk. I would love to hear what you guys think about all this. Please comment below. Do you use affiliate links in your videos or not? Do you think that they are permitted here on YouTube or not? And why do you think that? And if you do use affiliate links, how do you use them in a way that is not misleading and also provides additional value for the viewer? Comment and let us know all that below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Thursday we do YouTube Q&A just like this to help you guys out with the content that you're making. On Tuesdays we look at some online video news from the week before and talk about the implications that those changes and updates have for us as creators here on this space called YouTube. And then on Wednesdays to give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, just to help you guys out because I really do believe that a lot of you guys have messages that can really change people's lives if those people who need to hear what you have to say can only just hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys build your audiences, spreading your message here on YouTube. Subscribe, and I will see you guys again next week. Bye. Man, this is a tongue twister. Second part of the program, po partner program policy. Product placement, paid product, because the, second, because the second part of the partner program policy actually explicitly states that you can have paid product promotion in your video.